Good evening. We are back in Connecticut and to celebrate Daily Vespers tonight. And also, um, beginning today, our iconographer, Archpriest Theodore Yurevich, has arrived at our church. And so for the coming days, as we celebrate our services, we're going to be praying for the work of his hands as he completes the beautiful iconography in Holy Transfiguration Church. So glad you're joining us. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, <clears throat> and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fills all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord of my soul, O Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers, you set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You cover it with as deep as with a garment. The water stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place which you appoint for them. You set a bound which they should not pass so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have the habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring food, for, food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees the Lord have watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted, and then the birds build their nests to stork as her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are full of wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures, yonder is a sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships in Leviathan, which you form to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. 
Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul, praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Da, da, da. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who desire to enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan deacon, all companions of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the Diocese in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you are to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. In the eighth Lord, I call upon you, hear me. <coughs> Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you, hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord, keep watch over the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds. In company with men who work iniquity, and let me not be per, mar, mar, not partake of their delights. <clears throat> let a good man strike or rebuke me in kindness. Let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head. For my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When they are given over to those who shall condemn them, <clears throat> then shall they learn that the word of the Lord is true. As a rock which runs leaves and shatters in the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of hell. But my eyes are toward you, O Lord God. In you I seek refuge, leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap which they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked together fall into their own nets while I escape. I cry with my voice to the Lord, with my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him, I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit departs from me, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to the right and watch, but there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me, no man cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I say, you are my refuge, my portion and land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, I may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will deal bountifully with me. 
Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, shall mock iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. <clears throat> Most glorious wonder, the holy cross, the tree of life, is exalted today. All the ends of the earth rejoice. All the armies of the devil tremble. O precious gift bestowed upon the dwellers of earth. In your boundless compassion save us, O Christ. For your name's sake I have waited for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. Most glorious wonder. As a life-giving branch born by the Most High God, the cross is seen exalted on earth today. By it we have all been raised to the right hand of God, and death has been utterly swallowed up. O most precious would we glorify Christ who hung on you. Through you we receive and eat in the food of immortality. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch of Israel, hope on the Lord. How great, O oh Christ, is your goodness to us. You humbled yourself, becoming a man. You endured the cross and a shameful death for us, your worthless servants. What worthy gift shall we offer you? We faithful in fear and thanksgiving can only glorify you. For with the Lord there is mercy, with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Da, 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 da. Most wise and praise apostle Jude, your voice has gone out into all the earth. Guiding as lightning to the never-fading light, those darkened by the delusion of ungodliness. Since now you are radiant with this light, beseech great mercy for our souls. Praise the Lord, all nations, praise him, all peoples. Wondrous Judas, the instrument of Christ, you brought low the arrogance of idolatry. By divine speech, you mystically made captivity captive. For life incorruptible, O glorious one, since now you delight in this life, beseech great mercy for our souls. For his mercy is confirmed in us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. You were a disciple of our incarnate God, O Jude, apostle of Christ. You were sent by him as indeed a sheep among wolves, by your speech turning them away from impiety, bringing them to piety and a godly understanding of the Holy Trinity. Therefore we praise you. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> you, oops, da, da, da. you received openly the grace of the Divine Spirit, O Apostle Jude, as a participant in the sacred choir of the Apostles, when the fiery breath came down from heaven, breathing forth with a tongue of fire. You utterly consumed the thorns of idolatry. O preacher, entreat Christ God that our souls may be saved. Now and ever, in the same tone, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. O Lord, when your mother beheld you being nailed to the tree, she wept bitterly, crying out, O oh, my well-beloved Son, you suffer unjustly. You are wounded by lawless men, those whom you came to save in your great mercy. <clears throat> o 
Oh, let some light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun and beheld the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God, and giver of life. Therefore, O the world glorifies you. Wisdom, let us attend the evening Prochemenonis in the sixth tone. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven <clears throat> and earth. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Thou say the Lord to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord, for 
you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, Lord. O Lord our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, Look upon your servants and upon your inheritance, for to you, the awesome judge, he yet loves mankind. Have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> you have obtained invincible authority over demons, O Apostle, and in the name of Christ's power to drive away the princes of darkness. You have passed over the earth, giving light as the sun, and have taught all nations, O glorious one, preaching Christ first and saving coming. The proclamation has gone out unto all the world, and the words to the ends of the universe. You were a man true in action, O Jude. You are called the brother of the Lord, resembling the first grace of divine natural life. Because of your goodness and the purity of your mind, you were manifest as a sincere disciple of Christ. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. As an instrument well tuned by the hand of God, O Apostle Jude, you were given to the calling in of the Gentiles, guiding them to the true knowledge of Christ by your words and deeds. You enlightened all to confess the true divinity of Jesus, the Savior of our souls. In the second tome, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are wondrous indeed, O Apostle Jude. You were filled with divine zeal, burning with ardor for the Almighty God. He revealed you to be filled with divine wonders. You possess a wondrous passion and obtained a reverent manner through godly action. Therefore you are exalted and dwell with the angels on high. Since you behold God, pray to the word Christ our God, that he may grant us great mercy. In the eighth home, glory to the now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The mother of God beheld her son crucified and dying. The lens pierced the side of the Savior and the heart of the mother. In fear she beheld the pain of God incarnate, which you suffered willingly that we may be saved. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people. I'd like to enlighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. We know you as Christ's kinsman and martyr. We honor you with holy songs of praise. O Apostle Jude, you trample on error, preserving the fullness of the faith. As today we celebrate your memory, intercede before the Lord for the forgiveness of our sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The sublime monk and incarnate angel, the bodiless man and citizen of heaven, as he celebrates with us today, grants grace to all who honor him. Let us fervently magnify him, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O oh, blameless Virgin Mother of Christ our God, your most holy soul was pierced by a sword. When you beheld your Son and God willfully crucified, therefore never cease to pray to him, O oh, blessed one, that he may grant us remission of our sins. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed metropolitan teak on more companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox who part of this life before us, especially the minded Archpriest Nicholas, the Archpriest Paul, Matushka Nina, the servants of God, Stephen, George, Annabelle, Huda, Jennifer, Peggy, and John, and Matushka Nadine, and who hear men in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, all those suffering for their Orthodox faith, all those lying on a bed of sickness and need of healing, for the servants of God, the priest James, Matushki, Natasha, Anastasia, and Macrina, servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Anastasia, Sonia, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Billy, and Maria, Corey, Damien, Joseph, Kira, Louise, Lucy, David, Anna, Carol, Dorothy, James, Anne Marie, those known to be suffering from the coronavirus, Stephen, Olga, Carol, Ann, Ron, Megan, Kevin, Arcady, Michael, and Natalie, for the Archpriest Theodore, and for the work of his hands in completing the iconography in our church, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Oh Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God, in his mercy and providential care for us, will call forth for our diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese, and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith, in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For 
you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness. You hear our crying, repentance, and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them, and the military reserves supporting them. We pray for those developing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, <clears throat> and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Christ our God, the existing, is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, Unto ages of ages, most holy Theotokos save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ our true God, to the prayers of his most pure mother, to the power of the precious and light green cross, of our holy glorious and laudable apostles, of our fathers among the saints, the holy apostle Jude, the brother of the Lord, and St. Paisius the Great, who we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestor of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. God bless and be with you. Again, uh, we will continue our cycle of daily services with daily Vespers uh, Friday at 530 and again, please uh, pray for Archpriest Theodore as he works to complete the iconography in our church in the coming days. God bless and be with you.